On tonight's Hell's Kitchen Malaysia, the two Brits attempt to make char kway teow. One. Oh, Mark! Ah! not going to be any noodles left. There's onion drama in the kitchen. No, that's not a that's It different. is. That's an onion, that's no. a shallow. No, it's not. I peeled it. And a lot of shaming. Higher. Ah! See? Shame. Hello everyone and welcome back to Hell's Kitchen Malaysia and today we are going to be making one of my favourite meals in Malaysia. You love it as well, don't you? What are we making today? I'm not sure. What's it called? Kway Tiao. Kway Tiao. And Molly. Hello everyone, what's going on? Mark here. And today what are we going to be making? Kway Tiao. Char Kway Tiao, which is like the best thing in the world. Oh my God, so it's from Penang. Whenever I go to Penang, I've got to have this Kway Tiao. So we managed to find all the ingredients and some of these ingredients, oh my God, they were a nightmare to find. So rice noodles, you can't get them in Tesco's or Sainsbury's. So we went to an Asian supermarket. Ta da They are called Ho Fun. So it's gonna be a lot of fun today, isn't it? Ho Ho Ho. This isn't quite what you were looking for, was it? Yeah, so we also needed the fish cakes. Chi Chow Fish Bar. The lady in the shop, I said, Kway Tiao? She was like, oh, yes, 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 use this, use this, use this. Very good. If this lady is wrong, we're going to go back to the shop and she's going to be in trouble. I will look for you. I will find you. Okay, so to make this Cha Kway Tiao, all we need is onions, shallots, chilies, cockles. No. It's not oh, onion, it's, it's just shallots. No, not a sh that's it is. That's an onion, that's no, a shallot. No, it's not. I peeled it. That's one of those. Then why'd you put them both there then? Oh, but that's purple nice. and that's brown. I thought it looked nice, Mark. It's for an effect. Alright, so to make char kway tiao, all you need is shallots, chilies, garlics, cockles, rice noodles, fish cakes, egg, prawns, bean sprouts, and we also need these two sauces, the dark soy sauce, and this oyster sauce. Got the chives. Aha! We are gonna pick some chives from our lovely garden. Yes, we do grow our own chives here. You don't get fresher than this. Show those chives, Mum. Oh yeah, fresh chives from our garden in Surrey. First of all, we are going to make sure these are nice and loose because the rice noodles, apparently they break very easily. So we have to be very delicate with these and treat them like a princess. So yeah, put it in the microwave for one to two minutes. First job. Now, I'm no Kuwait Tiao expert and I'm not from Penang, but I do know the trick to making sure those noodles don't break is to treat them with a lot of care. Make sure you separate them very gently. A bit hot. If you can't handle the heat, get out of the kitchen. Now, once you've separated those noodles, it's time to add the ingredients. So you chop up your shallots, chop up your garlic, chop up those chives, Chop up your chilli. We didn't use too much chilli because we are Angmore and we can't handle the spice like you Malaysians can. I mean, this looks really weird in my opinion. I don't know. It's just... She looks like the Harry Raya. You know the, um, the rice cake, the, what's it called, the Le Mans. Oh, wow, actually, I think lady in the Asian supermarket, you are right. That does look like the fish cake, I think. I don't know. It looks a bit like banana. So we're trying to find a whisk, and I've just got to say, Mum, you have some ridiculous things in your kitchen. A tea, tea infusion. Tea, it looks like one of those like hippie things. Look into the heart, and you'll make the best crazy out of the night. Focusing all of your attention on the watch. It's like a, it's like a weapon, what is that? It's like... Putting down the meat to, when I'm carving it. Why have you got a paintbrush in your kitchen drawer? I don't know. <laughs> is that a fire thing? Be careful, please. Whoa! Be careful, Mark. Turn it off now, please. You've got, you got some weapons in here, Mark. Okay, so we need two eggs for the Kway Tiao. Every time I do the eggs, I ask you to get a close-up of the eggs and you stand back. Hell's Kitchen strikes No, again. I ask you to simply do the close-up and now you, you haven't got the shot of me getting the eggs. Miserable, miserable Mona. One job and you can't do it right. Okay. okay. Right. That's up for the eggs. You don't do it like that. Oh, wow, look at that. Wow, oh, so fun. Oh, look at that. That is a really cool whisk. Oh shit. Okay. <laughs> Mess has started already. Here we go. On the one. Here we go. Step, we are going to put the oil in the pan. And apparently, you've really got to burn it. I'm mum, I'm so excited for this. I love Kray Tiao. All right, next up, put the prawns in. This is art. Oh, look at that. 
feel like I'm in Penang already. Although the ladies English are not Chinese. Smelling good already, all right? And we've got garlic here. We're gonna add that in. And stir that for 10 seconds. Yum, yum, yum. Look at that, look at that. Add noodles using both hands on the handle. To be tossing it four times. I said that it's all coated in the oil. Oh my God. <laughs> There's going to be any noodles left. We're going to add the fish cakes. We're not sure if these are fish cakes, but we're going to put them in anyway. And then once again, toss four times. Oh no. One. Oh, Mark! Two. Oh, that's good. Three. Four. Four times. We're going to add the shallots. Shallots. Shallots, even. whatever. Get hot! Could you get the clothes up? Could you yeah. never get the clothes up? So while mum was trying to work out how to use a camera, I added the chilies, the shallots, the bean sprouts, the chives, and then before I tossed it, mum complained. So I said, you know what mum, if you're going to complain, you show me how it's done. Because you're moaning at me, saying I ruined the kitchen, so you toss, look, show me how it's done. Hold on a sec, look, can we have, look. Go. <laughs> That's not a toss. You've got to really throw it up in the air and toss it. Go. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Higher. <laughs> ah! See? Ha! Ha! In the air. In the air! Ah! Aha! Uh -huh. Ah! <laughs> so my mum was moaning at me for tossing badly and now she's realised that actually it's more hard than she thinks. As you can see, more mess made by mum. <laughs> I shouldn't be doing this because uh, we're meant to be cooking crazy out but I just had to. Shame! 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 <laughs> We searched everywhere for these cockles, so we have them right now. We're gonna add them inside as well. Oh, I love the sound of that. This is looking like a pretty good Kway Tiao. That's enough. Oh, look at that. If anyone here is a chef, right, especially from Penang, how do you toss so well? Because we, we can't do it. In Penang, right, they toss, and it goes up here, and it lands back in the pan. How is that possible? Oh, that's enough, you've done enough. Now the egg is what makes this so good. Oi! It's now time to add the oyster sauce. Oyster sauce just makes everything taste so good. Four tablespoons of soy sauce. And it's looking brown, it's looking good. What? Oh shit, that's burnt at the bottom. Look at that, that looks very charred. Um, there's no instructions about how long. I think it smells good. Let's just serve it because I'm hungry. You hungry, Mum? Very hungry. Right, it smells time delicious. To serve the Great Oh, look at that, look at that, look at that. Just look at that. Uh, mm. Mum! You just ate it! Why did you eat it? I just caught Mum. That's really rude. Being greedy in the kitchen. Shame. 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 We have made Kuei Tiao all the way from Penang. Actually quite easy to make, wasn't it? It was, yeah. Mum was greedy earlier. She tried it without me. Let's see, look, once again. Greedy mum. Nice? I really like it. Really? Yeah, didn't think I would. Can you taste like the burning taste to it or yeah, not? Yeah, I can. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, yum. Yeah, you're right. Mm. For something that was quite easy to make, mm. it's quite good. It's got that Asian spice to it. For two English people, in the kitchen, making Kuei Tiao for the first time. Mum, I think we did a pretty good job. Mm. Now, do a good job of cleaning up the kitchen. You made more mess than me, so you clean up. <laughs> Remember next time to toss correctly, or your yes. kitchen will be a mess. <laughs>